All right, so this game is out of sequence, uh, but I wanted to get some footage of these pads in here just because I got a custom set, which you can kind of see over there, and I'll be doing a review on them, and a lot of the review of that set will be specifically on these pads. So these are uh, Anton Forsberg True PX3s. Um, they're, they're slightly different because they're like almost like a prototype, and I'll cover it when I talk about the actual full set. But these are 30 four plus three pads. So the thigh rise is pretty massive and bigger than what I'm used to. And I usually went like a 35, uh, but this is what Just Hockey had. And I really wanted to do a review of this set of pads. So I bought them anyways, and they worked pretty well for me. This set I have worn, or I should say these pads, since I got them, I've probably skated three times, not in these pads. So that is telling you something about how much I like them. It was like right before my playoffs started and I wanted to wear this set for like playoff. Well, I wanted to see what pads I wanted to wear for playoffs and I ended up liking these so much I wanted to wear these. And so I just wore them like straight up and I've probably put like over 35 skates in them and they're, they're great. So I wanted to get some footage of it. So here's some footage of it here and we'll talk a little bit about the gear afterwards. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it, so that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee, everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Ba, ba, ba.
So there wasn't like a ton in this game and like I, I got a shutout on it so that's always great um, but yeah there wasn't like a ton going on in this game I didn't have a bunch of work my team is like in the higher division than what like this team ended up for playoffs it is what it is but for this uh, set of pads a lot I'm not gonna really show off that custom set that you can see over there right now because go to my Instagram and you can see it posted there so yeah, go there. This, uh, these are interesting. And a few things on here is, I've always worn a 35 CCM, uh, like old LeFave design pads, and these are not a 35. And they changed with the uh, 20.1s and the Axis where I went to a 34 and it fit like a 35. It's not exactly what's going on with these. Um, the boot is super splat. as. You can see, and I did like videos on the 12.2s, or 12 point, yeah, 12.2s, and I think like the 20.1s too showed off that flat boot. It's still here, and it's kind of the same thing. They're slightly changing stuff on the different versions, but that is kind of what it is. The, the thing about this pad, and the uh, reason why like a 34 is working for me, and why my custom set is a 34, they're a 34.2, this is a 34.3. I went with the 34, is all because of the FRS system back here. So. We're gonna open these up really quick and talk about that really quickly. And I go over videos of like the FRS system previously in like all my true videos I talk about. So go check that out. But this is always changing a little bit every time and we're not gonna go like a huge in-depth thing over here, but I'm just gonna talk about this for sizing specifically. When I use these pads, I end up landing like middle top or like, I'm trying to show this off, like middle top or like up here. I'm not having issues falling off the block and that's one of the good things True does with like the FRS system and everything like that, as well as this knee wing, which I love the shape of it, just like holding everything in place. If I went down here, I'd definitely fall off the block more, but here everything is good. So the problem with these pads is that they would be too tall in the thigh if I wore them with this FRS system, the way it's intended to be made because it pulls your pad like leg up a little bit and kind of secures your knee on here up a, a little bit more and that's the idea of that and how like this whole pad kind of works is does that but i'm not flexible enough to use a plus three on these like with that being written up so if i did this tight right here and like how it's supposed to be my knee ends up being like right in the middle of these which is where it should be because it's pulling the pad up a little bit but the thighs are just too much and got in the way all the time so what i ended up doing is get rid of this for a second I don't use this top strap on the FRS system. So it's still on there, but it's not like, it's just looped back through and I'm trying to get that on there. It doesn't actually ever connect to this. So I wear this one totally done. And then I wear this bottom one as loose as possible, just so a pad doesn't kind of float up my leg. And so I don't land really perfectly on these. I land well enough and it doesn't, I don't have any issues with it, but it's just so that it doesn't push it up more. So the thighs, don't get in the way of each other more because they are just too tall for me with like the way that the first few times I wore these pads, I did use this system and I felt quite a bit of strain on my hips and 
like my growing trying to get a wider stance and like dropping wider just because the thighs would always kind of hit each other and get in the way i took this off and the pad i gained like that much of a difference basically on the top and then i could like move and everything better and their movement and all this is really good i love these pads the are these are easily my favorite pads to wear right now and they're not even like one they're not my spec but two they're not my preference of a style of pad either with like the rebounds are so small on these which I don't necessarily like but I'm dealing with and like the pad itself is just it's like it doesn't have a crazy sliding surface on it but it's basically the third best sliding pad I have beside behind only SLR and Warrior G6 with the pl plates so it tells you a lot of how good these are um, and yeah I absolutely love these I'm still using them when I'm filming this video uh, I have two championship games for the stars and the blades going on tonight and I've worn this set these pads specifically for every single game in the playoffs and I've absolutely loved them so it's a lot of praise for me and we're going to do a full review with like a puck test on the thigh rise and everything on the custom set and we'll talk about this and how like a lot more in depth and because there's a lot of things on here that do like small little things really 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 well that make them stand out compared to some other companies and or I should say just like other pads and I'm I'm very impressed with them so We'll talk about that in like the full review and everything. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.